Games might be fun, but gamers are always bound to run into some problems. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 problems every gamer has faced. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the problems that we as gamers have faced, both in and out of games. Problems that span a more broad and general group. We will be glossing over topics like high difficulty though, because that's kind of subjective. I don't know! <laughs> Number 10, Toxic Communities. As gaming has evolved over the years, we've managed to move beyond the realms of our living rooms and into the online world. When the internet became more mainstream, games took advantage of the changing landscape and brought online multiplayer to competitive games. Unfortunately, not having to see everyone face to face brought an even greater rise to toxic communities. You're an idiot. I hate you. Get cancer. Kill yourself. From players who blame everyone else for their problems, people who spam irritating noises into their microphones, that one annoying camper, griefers, or just straight up dickheads. These communities sometimes make it difficult to enjoy the games we love. Put the sentry down. Stop going scout. Number nine, parents. Peyton says recently I was looking through my daughter's phone and I found many pictures of a cartoon skeleton with one glowing blue eye and wearing a hoodie. We've all been there when we were younger. Parents who don't approve of our gaming habits. Whether it was trying to get to that last checkpoint, playing late into the night, or not approving of the game's subject matter, it felt like they were one of the biggest walls between us and our games. If your parents were fine with you playing video games, there was of course the issue of having them buy the games for you and dictating what you could and couldn't play, at least until you could save up your allowance for yourself. But again, that often meant missing out on a lot of amazing titles when you were young. Come on, mom and dad. It, it's the parent's job. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This game is rough and it's tough and it, it's not meant for 13 year old kids. Number eight, budget. On the other hand, while getting games as a kid was tough, purchasing games as an adult comes with its own set of real life obstacles. You know, the ones that your parents kind of warned you about. With most games costing as much as a week's worth of groceries for some, and consoles in the hundreds of dollars, it can be quite difficult to manage our money, especially when we see our friends all have that shiny new console. Being a PC gamer can be even more trying, with upgrades reaching into the thousands in terms of a full-on upgrade, all in a quest to get that sweet, sweet 60 frames per second. Mm. Number 7. Your favorite franchise ruined. Every gamer has had a franchise that gave new meaning to their favorite hobby. With some game series lives spanning years, it can be quite difficult to maintain that high standard that fans have come to expect, and there are bound to be flops. Unfortunately, those flops can sometimes end up ruining our perception of the entire franchise in general. What we may consider ruined can obviously be subjective, but it can be very disheartening when a follow-up to one of your favorite games of all time turns out to be nothing short of a disaster. Number 6. Stereotyping Nerd! As gaming has evolved and changed, so has the culture and communities. So, when we see TV shows, movies, or even other communities label or depict us as the classic nerd stereotype, it can be kind of frustrating. Hello, I am a nerd from the Nerd Brigade, here to nerd out on all your audio and visual needs. While this isn't the only label that's thrown at us, it's certainly one of the most insulting and one of the most common as gaming communities as a whole are very diverse in nature. It seems like the term nerd is meant to label a community that doesn't adhere to popular standards. But with gaming fast becoming one of the biggest forms of media, it is questionable as to why people still feel the need for that label. On the one hand, the Xbox One has a better camera, but the PS4 has a removable hard drive. Thoughts? I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Number five, dying when you didn't save your progress. While the autosave and checkpoint systems have been kind of a blessing, there was a time, and depending on the game, there still is a time, where saving was completely manual or taken out of your hands. If you died, then you'd have to go back to where you last saved. Sometimes though, you get so immersed in your game that you'd lose track of time and forget to save your progress. When you die, you're reminded of your own mistake, and you could be crushed by losing how much time you've played. Sometimes it's even several hours worth. Just remember to always check up on your saves, especially before a boss fight. Come on. Number six, 
Number four, save file corrupted. As if losing some of your in-game time from forgetting to save was bad enough, try losing all of your progress in one fell swoop. While not as common, a save file corruption means in almost all cases that you cannot return to the game from that file, meaning all that time you spent is gone forever. It's almost as bad as deleting a save accidentally, but corruption is typically out of your control, with reasons ranging from unexpected power outages to bugs or just the game being stupid. The result is always the same, and your time is just gone. Number three, time management. Hey, speaking of time, even if we had enough money to spend on all the games we wanted, time will always be an issue. We still need to work our jobs, go to our classes, deal with the family, or just get enough sleep. And all that can be a bit of a hassle if you're a major gamer. Mom, bathroom. What, hon? Bathroom. Setting aside enough time to play your game can feel more like scheduling an appointment rather than just, you know, kicking back and having fun. While this problem tends to overlap into several other problems on our list, it still stands out as it is troublesome to all gamers. Maybe sometime we'll be able to finish The Witcher 3. <sighs> Number two, lag. Another problem that is typically out of your control. Lag is extremely frustrating for online gamers. Caused by the internet slowing down, either locally or server side, it can create hiccups in gameplay. From your typical players teleporting and running in place, to your shots not connecting with the enemy, it can make any online match basically unplayable. To make things worse, if you're the only one lagging, you appear to everyone else as just kind of like a bad player, who for some reason is standing still at the worst possible time and is somehow a worse shot than a stormtrooper. Number one, broken console, scratched games. A lot of smoke, I don't know if you can see that. That flame, I better put it out, that flame is actually a lot. Nothing breaks a gamer's heart more than their games being physically broken or their game discs scratched. Replacing a game can be expensive on its own, but replacing the system is what really makes things hard. Spending hundreds or thousands of dollars for a device to play games on is costly, and repairing it or replacing it can add up fast. With many gamers using games as a means for relaxation and escaping the stresses of the real world, being unable to play and being out quite a bit of money is what hits us where it hurts the most. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.